Okay, uh, welcome to the video guys. So on this video, we're going to be going over the Nell Prime. In this series, I like to take a weapon and I like to test it on its own merits. I don't like to mix it with anything like uh, Warframe abilities or uh, pet damage or pet weapons. I just like to test the weapon itself. So the Nell Prime is a secondary weapon. It functions like a machine pistol, but it has a little bit of a uh, unique effect in that it only functions as a machine pistol once you've gotten a headshot. And it will only function as a machine pistol for a few seconds after you get a headshot. And so while you're in that machine pistol mode, you have to continue getting headshots to keep it in that mode. As long as you're in that mode, all of your ammo is free and you're at, um, uh, it's an automatic weapon. So, yep, that's it there. So the uh, build is going to be Galvanized Diffusion for multi-shot, Galvanized Crosshairs for crit chance. We're going to have the two crit chance or two crit mods, crit chance and crit damage, with pistol gambit and target cracker. Lethal torrent for fire rate and multi-shot. Hornet strike for flat damage. Sharpen bullets for. Uh, more crit damage when you're aiming. And then Primed Heated Charge, just for uh, random heat procs and for more flat damage. Steady Hands for Weapon Recoil Reduction. And Secondary Deadhead for uh, more headshot damage. So... With this weapon, you know, one of the, the things I don't like about it is that you have to pretty much stay, like, aimed in all the time to get maximum efficiency out of it. Um, just because you're going to be wanting to go for headshots and because you're going to want to keep galvanized crosshairs procced and sharpened bullets procced, which means that you have to stay aimed in. For some time, I ran Viral on this weapon, so I would I would take out Horner Strike and Sharpen Bullets, and I would have Viral here, so I would have Viral and Heat, but over time, I decided to take that off, so Viral is an extremely strong element, but this weapon has really, really poor status. Now, as you kill with this weapon, you do get more, uh, you know, status chance that adds up, but it, it's still pretty low. And I don't know that it uh, justifies like two full mod slots for, for Viral on a low status weapon. <laughs> that being said, Viral is still very strong. And so, you know, if this is not, you know, a video about Warframe builds, but if you were to have like Nourish or something on your Warframe, uh, that just gives it Viral without actually having to waste uh, mod slots, this weapon would, would, you know, be even better. But we're going to test it like this. We're going to do a 10 minute Kuba survival on Steel Path. We're going to kill some trash and acolytes. And then we're going to take it to uh, Lua Conjunction survival, where the enemies are a little bit higher. They're 180 to 200. And we're going to see how far this weapon can take us there. And once again, just so we're not mixing this weapon with any other kind of uh, damage boosters, we're going to be using an Anaros with no Archon shards, no mods or arcanes that uh, increase weapon damage. No pet weapon, and the pet has no mods that increase weapon damage. So let's bring it in. I'm going to cast my four to double my armor, and then that'll be the last ability I use. Predictable. As expected, Grineer has 
So if you look, the nail has one bullet and 20 in the magazine, and that's because it shoots very slowly, but it'll turn automatic as soon as I get a headshot. So there, I didn't get a headshot there because he kind of moved. Now it's a headshot, and now it, now it turns into an automatic weapon. Again, the negative with the, uh, the Nell is that you're, you're going to want to stay in this mode to get more crit chance and more crit damage. You can, you know, shoot it like this in third person mode, but you're going to start losing your stacks because your galvanized scope is, it requires you to be aimed in for it. So this build is a, it's like an orange and red crit build. I think if I have full stacks, it might be full red, but it, you know, uh, orange with a lot of red. So hey, thanks for the, the subscribe there, old guard. How are you doing? Or the follower, rather, I should say. doing this video I'm gonna do a 10 minute uh, Kuva survival and then I'm gonna switch over to Lua conjunction for you know max 20 minutes and then I'll I'll probably end the stream after that I'm just showing off the male prime right now now as soon as you don't have enemies to shoot or if you miss headshots you know for a few seconds this will go, uh, you know, back down to semi-automatic, like, shit tier levels. So here, I'll just kind of, you know, shoot at the wall here. It's automatic, it's automatic, it's automatic. And then you'll see at a certain point, it's going to... Yep, there we go. So now it goes back to the, the semi-automatic level. But as soon as you get a headshot, it pops right back into that uh, mode. first set of uh, life sports here, just in case I need to pop them eventually. We'll have the, the enemy's kind of Congo line here too, so they'll take a little bit to get over here. Again, I probably have gone down into the semi-automatic, but as long as I can headshot, I go right back into it. I feel like the Nell Prime is probably one of the strongest secondaries in the game. It's just, it's not my favorite of the secondaries just because of the, the kind of like annoying thing where you have to, you have to be aimed in. And not only do you have to be aimed in, but it has this weird uh, like decal over your screen, which I don't really like. So there's Angst. He just teleported to me. Let's see. And he's dead. So it's really good at killing the Acolytes as well. If this had like a normal zoom in mode with like with without having this weird decal on the screen, I I would probably like this weapon a lot better. Uh, but if if you can deal with it, I mean it is probably one of the strongest secondaries in the game. The amount of seconds before it goes to uh, semi-automatic mode, I don't know if I know the number off the top of my head, but it's it's pretty generous. Like it, it's probably about like six-ish seconds that like it gives you to get another headshot. And it doesn't have to be a headshot kill; it just has to be a headshot. So 
quickly take one life support just so we're a little bit closer to 100. Looks like I picked up a little buddy on my shoulder. Oh, he fell off. That's too bad. As far as like ribbons go, um, I don't know if you would want to get crit chance on this just because it's already like almost all reds at max stacks. If you got crit chance on your ribbon though, it would be more comfy at full red instead of like, you know, if you lose one stack, it's back down to orange. So you, you could go with crit chance on your ribbon. Crit damage, definitely. Multi shot, definitely. Um, punch through wouldn't be bad either because you would be able to hit multiple targets with it. But, uh, yeah, probably either the basic stuff, like, you know, crit chance, crit damage, uh, multi-shot, or uh, don't get crit chance and, like, replace it with something like, um, you know, of course, you can't choose your ribbon, really. But, you know, if you got, uh, like, punch through or flat damage, it would be also okay. I think I got my weapon stolen. There it is. It's this little guy that stole my weapon here. See where the uh, the guy went misery. Oh, there he is, and he's gone. So in two minutes, uh, we'll end the uh, Coover survival and we'll switch over to Leo Junction. Now, something I don't know though is if it'll uh, stay in automatic mode if I switch weapons. So I actually don't have a primary on me, I have a melee. I guess I could test that and see. Yeah, it's still in automatic mode. I don't know if it would be different switching to a primary weapon mode in melee.
So 10 minute mark, we're at 713 kills, which is really good. Really good uh, comparatively to a lot of weapons. Okay, let us find the extract, which I don't see on the map. It might be over here. Is it this way? I'm not sure. Oh, oh, I see a green icon somewhere. There it is. There it is. So we're going to switch over to Lua um, Conjunction, which is a little bit stronger. Uh, enemies, 180 to 200. And that five-minute mark is going to spawn Thraxes and usually the Acolyte at about the same time. Queue up Circulus. We'll head in here. Um, in the past, I would take a weapon to like uh, 30 minutes, but I want to shorten the videos a bit, so we'll take it to 20 minutes if it can get past like the first five. The first five is is the kind of the toughest for conjunction, just because of the Thrax and Acolyte spawned about the same time. I'm going to cast my four here just to um, double my armor, and that'll be the last ability I cast. Everything else will just be the weapon. I'm gonna kind of make my way over to the first set of life supports. That way, I don't I don't get uh, stuck in one spot there. The hardest part about the uh, solo conjunction with just a single weapon is that uh, the air, the life support supply. Weapon stolen by this little guy over here. Oh, actually, you know, I picked that weapon up and it was still in automatic mode. So even if the weapon gets taken from you, it, uh, you know, as long as it's not too long, it'll stay in automatic mode, which is pretty cool to know. I thought it might have gotten switched to uh, uh, semi automatic again. So my, you know, my big gripe about this weapon is it's kind of boring. It's super strong, super, super strong. Um, but, you know, there's no reload, so you just kind of run around holding the left click down and red critting everything. I mean, I guess that that's pretty cool, but it's just over time, it's just like, you know, I, I won't even say it's a point and click adventure because I'm not clicking, I'm just holding the left click down. It's like the excitement you get out of the Nell Prime is uh, is when you 
you lose your automatic mode and you have to use the semi-automatic, then it's like, oh wow, I get to I get to play the game again. I get to make accurate shots instead of just holding left click and spinning around. I think if, if if it didn't have this like weird zoom and like you know with the decal and everything and I got to see my character it might be a little bit more fun you know more enjoyable to see my character uh, shooting and, and different animations but when you're aimed in like this it's just like uh, all I see this is this like decal across the screen. pretty good on air. I haven't really needed to hit one. I might have to hit one soon, though. I want to make sure I'm at like 100 when the Thraxis come. And we've got the Acolyte about to come right now. 79 is not worth hitting one, though. This guy right there. This guy will be killed super quick. And he's gone. Against Thraxes? I'm not entirely sure how this will do. Let me hit one and then Thraxes are going to spawn. Oops. I need a headshot. Turn your head around. Did pretty good against that Thrax there. All right, so it did, it did pretty good against those those Thraxes. There was even that, that first Thrax, I was able to go into my operator, kill him, come back, and the Nell was still in the automatic fire mode. So that's what I'm saying. It's kind of lenient on the amount of seconds you get. I don't know exactly how much it is, but it's like six-ish seconds. Where, uh, you know, you just have to get a headshot within, those, within that time. And it's shooting this quickly. With unlimited ammo, I mean, it's pretty easy to get headshots, like, randomly. Even if you're kind of being a goofy scout like me. A uh, really cheap way to get extra fire rate on here without having to, like, waste a mod slot for another fire rate mod would be using the uh, Furex Wraith. Or any Furex, really, with the Amalgam uh, Furex mod on it. I think it's called... Amalgam Furax body count, if I remember correctly. It'll give you another 45% um, fire rate on secondaries. And it doesn't have to be on the actual Nell Prime. It'll be on your Furax. And so you'll get the, um, you know, I think it's, what is the Lethal Torrent? 60, 60? 60 fire rate, or maybe it's 45 fire rate. So you'll get the, the fire rate from Lethal Torrent, and you'll get the fire rate from the uh, Amalgam mod, the 45. So that'll be that'll be perfect for this. That's if you're willing to, um, you know, use your melee slot for the Fury X, because the Fury X is not. It's gotten in carded mode now, so it's a little bit better, but it's still not really like the best melee weapon in the game. But if you don't melee too much, you can kind of just use that slot as a as the the amalgam stat stick for your your Nell Prime. I was actually on the floor for a good amount of time, and it still came up in the. In automatic mode. Alright, I gotta pay attention here because I need some life support. I'm gonna hit this first one and then I'm gonna head over to the next group and I'm gonna hope these guys move there somewhat quickly. It's only 150 meters away, so it's not too bad. I might have to hit like two of these though by the time the main group of enemies get here before I can start uh, farming the yellow life supports. Maybe 
8%. Okay. Come on, guys. I'll probably try to meet them halfway and start farming a bit for yellow life supports. Mania might be the uh, Zephyr. Yeah, he is. I'm going to have to melee, unfortunately, here. Okay. So we did about half of his health in uh, the Nell Prime, and then he switched to Zephyr's Turbulence. And, I mean, the Nell Prime has no AoE to it, so I'm not really going to be able to kill him once he has Zephyr's Turbulence up. I, I would have just had to wait, like, 30 seconds or whatever the the cooldown is for it to, to end. So I did have to get a melee kill there on the on the acolyte. life support here and then I'll probably head over to the next group which is 500 meters away that's pretty shitty where is the second Thrax there he is Rex is dead. I'm going to kill this like, large group of enemies, and then I'm probably going to move over to the next set of uh, life sports, which are unfortunately about 500 meters away, which is really going to suck. Because these enemies are going to take a long time to Congo line over there. By the time I get there, I might have to hit both life supports. kind of hope that the uh, the next group is somewhat close to this area. All right, well, at least we have some enemies spawning uh, over here. The yellow life support right here. Get this first one. second one and then we could probably uh, chill here and use that one for when we actually need it. I mean I guess we did kind of need it now too but up there is kind of tanky to this. We have Misery coming next. He's the uh, Necro Sacolite. He's done for. Right. 
13. 67% might hit a life support unless I can get a few yellows here. There's a yellow. There's a couple of yellows there. Ooh. Where did they come from? Life support, and I'm probably. Oh no, the next one's right there too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we're pretty good in this area. We'll probably use that next one when the Thraxes come in about like a minute and a half. Can't get a headshot here. Where is your head? This is the unfortunate thing. This is like the the downfall with the uh, oh. <laughs> with the Nell when you just have like a streak of unluckiness of headshots. You just feel like an absolute doofus because the uh, the semi-automatic mode is. I won't even say it's bad. It's unusable. You you need to get a headshot in that semi-automatic mode um, for this to be a good, like, for this to even function, really. So sometimes you get a, a streak of bad lucks trying to get uh, headshots. Thrax is spawning in about 20 seconds. I'm pretty confident this, this weapon will go all the way to 20 minutes. And at 20 minutes, uh, you know, we'll just assume this weapon has kind of proven itself to be a, a good steel path weapon. Um, both for trash killing and for, uh, you know, big boy killing with the Thraxes and the Acolytes. I kind of assumed it with this weapon, though. I knew this weapon was uh, a strong weapon. I use an amp that I think is fun, but it, it doesn't, it's not the best amp. I, I use it because I think it's fun, which is, you know, uh, not the best reason to choose a weapon sometimes. So there's plenty of enemies here for me to try to get some yellow uh, life supports from. But as soon as they're mostly cleared out, I will grab that life support and I'll head over to the next group. So there it is. Next group is going to be 300 meters away. And we're at 58. It's a little bit painful. We'll see. As long as these enemies can head over here somewhat quickly. Be okay. Come on, guys, start making your way over here.
think we'll get the Acolyte pretty soon here. And then we'll get Thraxes in a little bit less than two minutes. And again, vi Viral will make this weapon better, but it's not really worth putting on the main build because if you put it on the main build, it'll make it worse. So if you can get Viral through another means, like, uh, you know, using Nourish or... Let me make sure we're... Yeah, there we go. I think I just dropped the bubble. I hope so. Otherwise, I will be killing myself. Not, not IRL in, uh, in Warframe. I think it's on me, actually. I just went down there. I don't know if that was the Malice Bubble or not. I think it might have been. I run low graphics, so it's hard for me to see sometimes. Thraxes. Life support right here. And I'm gonna probably try to Congo line these enemies a little bit to the uh, next life support, which is about 150 meters away. Oh, you know what? We're at the two, uh, 20 minute mark here. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so we're at the 20 minute mark. I'm gonna. Um, Head to extraction now. So we're at 1,010 kills. Let me head over there. Sorry about that. I had no idea. I was kind of uh, brain farting. So yeah, this weapon pretty comfortably got us to the 20 minute mark. We haven't really struggled at all. Even for air. Okay, so we'll go back to Orbiter, and I'll go over the build one more time. This is good. <clears throat> okay, so Nell Prime. We're going with Galvanized Diffusion for multi-shot. Galvanized Crosshairs for crit chance. Prime Pistol Gambit and Prime Target Cracker for crit chance, crit damage. Lethal Torrent for fire rate multi-shot. 
Hornet Strike for flat damage. Sharpened Bullets for more crit damage. And Prime Heated Strike for random fire procs and also for just some more flat damage. Steady Hands for Weapon Recoil Reduction. And Secondary Deadhead for Headshot Multiplier. Um, there's not like a perfect ribbon slot on this weapon. Uh, just because secondaries have a stronger flat damage mod than primaries do. So like on primaries it's pretty easy to say serration is the best uh, ribbon slot to uh, replace. But secondaries have the, the 220 horn strike. It's still a decent ribbon slot to, to replace. Especially if you get a uh, ribbon with flat damage. You would obviously just plop it on top of uh, horn strike. But if you get a ribbon with um, like fire rate lethal torrent could be a, a place where you, you uh, replace the ribbon where you replace for a Riven. Sharpened bull Bullets could be another one that you replace for a Riven. So, you know, these, these three on the bottom here are, are decent replacements for a Riven, depending on what you get on your Riven. So, yep, that's the build for the Nell Prime. I think it is a, uh, you know, S-tier or pretty damn close to an S-tier uh, secondary weapon. I think it's one of the best in the game. So... A little bit annoying to play because you get that weird decal across your screen. But besides being an annoying weapon to use, it is an extremely powerful weapon. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. This is on Twitch. I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube. Um, if you guys liked it, give it a like or, or subscribe if you can to support me. I'm still super new at this, so some of these videos are a little bit rough, but I'm hoping to get a little bit better at it. So, thank you, guys.